welcome to SAP FI new general ledger session table of contents new GL overview leading non leading ledger concept comparison classic new GL total document splitting integration aspects period and closing parallel reporting reporting new GL overview on the left hand side we find R3 Enterprise the old version 4.7 which had FI Classic cost of sales accounting then ECPCA traditionally known as profit center accounting this was used for segment reporting then special ledgers and consolidation staging ledger now with the advent of ECC 6 new general ledger all of these modules which needed to be activated are no longer required and everything is merged into a single new GL so that is the beauty of new GL new GL merges the classic GL with profit center accounting special ledgers including cost of sales ledger and the consolidation staging ledger what are the benefits of new GL different fiscal year variant can be attached to each ledger there is a requirement for a company code where group reporting is Jan to December and the the tax reporting is April to March in this case we can use a different fiscal year variant and attach it to a different ledger real-time reconciliation between CO and FI for cross-controlling postings and hence reconciliation ledger not needed profit center accounting module does not need to be activated since it is available within new GL splitting of documents happen in real time so let us understand the leading and non leading ledger concept in new GL there is one leading ledger for each client that is valid for all the company codes the accounting standard to be used in the leading ledger needs to be decided first this assignment cannot be deactivated once it has been defined you can only define one ledger as a leading ledger SAP provides the leading ledger 0L as standard only the leading ledger is integrated with CO values from the leading ledger are updated in CO which is controlling module A financial accounting document always has two views in new GL the entry view and the general ledger view now what is entry view view of how a document appears to the document creator and how it's shown in the sub ledgers sub ledgers namely are accounts payable accounts receivable and asset accounting general ledger view view of how a document appears only in the general ledger view 